Hey everyone, Zave here. Welcome to Hello Cruel World Overview. This game has a pretty unique combination of genres. I don't think it's very prevalent in our store. And then some kind of stream chat going on in the background, like some never seen before features that I always ask from the new releases. So Hello Cruel World is a horror puzzle game where, as a young, inspiring woman, we are trapped in an experimental torture set, driven by the curiosity and engaging fanbase, save yourself from the nightmare or go into a deeper end. Puzzles work great in VR, we are already familiar with that setting, but I don't think we've ever been in a horrorish thriller situation, well at least it's not as popular as the adventure ones. Alongside that we'll have a floating window of people just chatting with us. I think this particular feature is the most interesting because there are endless possibilities and interactions, depends all on how the devs took it seriously, if it's just some pre-written commands about stuff that's happening in front of you, or they went fully into AI-generated just chaos. I'm not particularly excited about the graphics, especially that we are in a dark ambience with shadows to cover the mistakes, low textures and anything that should be out of our sight. I also don't know what's the danger necessarily, if it's just creepy vibe going on or there's gonna be some action. There are definitely some fun things going on and I don't think it can be treated as a yet another release with bland everything. We shall see what's gonna be the execution. I mean, I think it's just gonna come relatively natural to me because you just interact with stuff before your eyes as a some sort of a YouTube live situation. Let's go to the gameplay. What's going on? <laughs> we can just freely move it, that's nice. I don't have that many people talking to me. Where should I position this? <laughs> I go somewhere in the corner of my eye. Or just blocking my vision. <laughs> Should I be talking with them? I don't know about that. Where are we? In a... Rather low quality 360. Environment is looking... Standalone-ish. <laughs> Do I have gloves? For what? I wonder how random it is or... Just pure mechanics of the stream. Well, that was weird. Oh, hell no. Spin the burstus. Happy. <laughs> I also wonder if the usernames repeat. Do I want to follow it that much? What do we have? Like some equipment? Not much. I want to go here. Flood damage in the basement. Becoming dangerous. Do 
Do y'all have some instructions? We eating fine tonight. What? Oh. So maybe they interact with what I do. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. <laughs> I mean, there are some repeats, but... I think it's intentional. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so there are some mechanical craps. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> so crabs or spiders make up your mind. Again, I want to live here like Maybe it's on a repeat. Hello? <laughs> the hell? I mean, the ambience is there, I'll give them that. What about the resolutions? They're okay. Some textures kind of flicker with the edges, but that's passable. Though the surfaces aren't like red matter quality. <laughs> You're coming with me. Crab and grab these now. Cool. <laughs> it's also confusing what's interactional or not. Was that a spider computer? Well, it's a puzzle game after all, so... I need to... focus on that. I swear it was working for a split second. Those reactions are situational. But they feel kind of empty, like with no personality, which... Duh. <laughs> it's a game. 
Jesus. No zombies. I'm confused where this should go. I have a flashlight? It doesn't seem like it. I wonder if the chat can spoil what's gonna happen. Well, I don't know why I tried it. I can't grab my chat now. Well, I mean, I had to activate it somehow. So are we dying or not? Make up your mind. Who cares about your allergies, mate? I don't have a hand. I don't know if this chat actually is interesting. The check for booze. There are certain phrases that repeat and are a bit annoying. Is that really better? Connection established. Can you hear me? In your mind? Yes. Wonderful. I cannot track your location to give you precise directions, but a two-way line of communication should suffice. Yes. Or a one-way line of communication. That works as well. Now then, normally one would undergo a three-day training period on the electrolysis, but circumstances are far from the Normal. I'll try to give you the condensed version. <sighs> the electrolysis is equipped, as its namesake might suggest, with finely tuned electrical sensors that act as a directional microphone of frequencies beyond the realm of human hearing. In my own terms, they let you hear sounds you normally would be unable to. Electrolimbus transplant.
Is this a microphone or what? I don't really get it. I need three batteries. Also, not everything is interactional, which for a video game it's a shame. It instantly takes away from the immersion, which is pretty good, but... Oh my god, this chat is kinda like closing on me. But it's not interesting. Check for booze. Hello everyone. Why on if I'm watching this, like... A trivial thing. How do I know if it works? With this, but... There's some weird sounds going on. Not this. Like random footsteps. don't know about this really. <laughs> well it's time to end anyways and as much as I like the ambience quite creepy and scary there are lackluster things going on. Let's start with the chat that has repeats of messages so if nothing in particular is happening then it's just the same stuff over and over. Only when there's certain action, new ones appear, but then you can just stop the flow and not pointlessly be filling the window. With the interactions, they are not enough for a VR game. Like we're talking about just grabbing random stuff, not only the object new ones. It really is a simple touch, but very effective in the long run. With the graphics, it's not crazy, it ain't that bad. If we would just lit this up with bright contrast and brightness, it wouldn't look that good. A really weird mixture because it's a creepy ambience with puzzles in between. We lost our hand and we're trapped, so kudos to that. 